And welcome back, this is Ballers Good with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. When we last left off, I had done a whole bunch of leveling up here. Oh, good lord, I'm up to level 7. Got as much equipment as I could for everybody. And I got some new magic, uh, level 2 magic for Finny and Novin. And now it's time to head into the castle. Now you can talk to all the people here. Ah, damn it. Me and my dash button. Like this person way out here. Right. She hears of Maltoya. We haven't gone to Maltoya yet. We could have, but there's really no point in doing it. Yet. All she teaches you is how to use the world map, which I will show you guys anyways. And Astos put a curse on the prince. What? Oh, he's got swans in his room. Sweet. And he's just sleeping. Five years ago. The prince has been sleeping for five years. The hell. Just what the hell game. Okay, to, or to open up the world map, you hold circle, press start. Boom, world map. But we don't really have anything there yet. Uh, yeah, I went to Metoya's cave off screen, but there's nothing really there. There were a couple potions, but whatever. Not important. Right now, we need to go west. And as we go west, we should be able to head north through this little divot pass in the mountains or whatever. And wargwolves. I don't think these are new, but there's four of them. And, so, and plus, we get a print of strike, so it should be relatively easy if everybody hits. And as you can see, doing a little work with wh who you want to hit and when and all that kind of stuff is important. Because Fallout can one-shot these guys because he is our warrior. That's what he does. Luke misses sometimes. It just happens. And Finny gets the final blow because she's awesome like that. Quick battle. Let's move on. We're going north. Trying to find... Already the Marsh Cave. That's what it's called. And before I forget, and before I get interrupted again, what you want to bring with you is tents, potions, and antidotes. I went 10, 10, 5. You don't necessarily need to do that, but that's what I got because I'll probably be using them eventually anyways. But what we need to do in here is not go this way because this is the wrong way. We need to go further west, I believe. There we go. This looks more like it. And holy crap, do we have a hard fight ahead of us here. Uh, two ogres and an ogre chieftain, they got the first strike, so they've already done a ton of damage on us. Ah, oh, that chieftain, man. I am not looking forward to trying to take that thing on. I'm trying to take down the ogres first because, well, hopefully I can get them to die. 35 damage, good lord. Die. Why? Why do you choose to live when you could die? Get him! Come on, get him! God, 14 damage. There we go. We can do this. It, we're still good. We're still good. Yes! Critical! No, that's a miss. I don't care. Oh, and Finny does it once again. She's getting all the final blows in this RP. Huh? LP. This is an LP. <coughs> I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, here we go. This is more like it. Okay. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. That's our destination. This, this hole. Right here. The marsh cave. But you know what? I need to heal up her, so I'll meet you right back after I use a tent. Be right back. And welcome back, and I completely lied to you guys. Level 7 is not high enough to take on this marsh cave. We need to be level 10. And as you can see, I've gotten a lot of new equipment for everybody. We got a mithril sword. Uh, we have couple copper armlets. And um, yes, Luke is unequipped now. That is the best way to do it. And everybody else, I believe, is the same. But I do have new magic as well. I do have Cure 2 and Daya 2. Uh, that's that's kind of important as well. 
I also have Fire 2 and Bolt 2 for Novin. Okay, level 10. Let's do this. This place is hard as hell. Kicked my ass at level 7 a few times, so I had to go back and level up. Ugh. Okay. So first thing you want to do is go north. And here, you're going to find pretty much a dead end, but it's a worthwhile dead end. You find a dagger, which we already have, but thanks anyways, game. Then you want to go over here. And get yourself 680 gil. Yeah, worth it. And what's our first enemy of the game right here? Skeletons. Of course, they're skeletons. Nothing too hard. Nothing too hard for us now. But they did get to strike first, and that's never fun. And now you'll get to see Luke in his awesome power. Have not been showcasing Luke that much. Mostly about Fallout and Finny and Nova. But Luke will get to shine eventually. Oh, these guys go down easy. Look at him go. Go, Luke. Look at that. Four hits, 114 damage. Yeah, that is the power of the monk. And he doesn't even need a weapon to do that. He does that all by himself, doesn't he? That's awesome. And we only get 11 experience and 15 gil. But still, that was awesome. Okay, where's the other one? Down here. But I know there's got to be new enemies here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we get a crawler. It's an upgrade Gigasworm. Um, you take on Blood Bones, and then you two can take on the Skeletons. Yeah, um, it's at this point that you really have to start using strategy when you attack. Uh, you have to hope, uh, you know, if you one-hit a guy, you have to hope that uh, he... That your, opponent, that your other party members start attacking the same guy so that they die as well. Like that, see? Um, you go ahead and take on Blood Bones, and then you two can take on the Skeleton up front, and then hopefully one of you will, will one-shot something. Like that should kill the Blood Bones, yes, now Luke should be able to finish off the other Skeleton if Finny does not, but he, she does! And there we go, now we're starting to get some proper experience in Gale. Okay, what do we got down here? Oh, we got two treasure chests. We found a broadsword, which is useless to me now that I have the mithril sword. And what do we get here? New enemies? Of course, we get black widows, tarantulas, and a gray ooze. I am not a fan of that gray ooze. Okay, um... Yeah, that's, that's why I'm not a fan of that gray ooze. And then, oh, 126 damage. Oh, poison. God, I hate poison. So, so much. And I'm going to let it stay there for now. Um, actually, you need to attack the Black Widow. I'm going to let the the poison stay there until the end of the fight, then I can heal at the end, because these guys can always deal, deal out poison anytime they damn well please, and that's not fun for anybody. So, we're going to wait till the end. That's why I brought all those po antidotes with me. I ended up changing it to 20 potions, 10 antidotes, and 3 tents. I am playing this as cautious as I can. I don't want to have to do this more than once. Okay. There's the new stairs. It's pretty much a dead end, like I said. So, we're going to go all the way back down. There's probably a lot more new enemies that we have. These are shadows. I don't think I've shown shadows before, so we're going to go ahead and keep this one in. Oh, but they always get the first strike, and that sucks. So bad. So bad. I have no idea where Novin's hitting anymore. Oh, he's sitting there. That's awesome. And see, th that was a waste of Novin's turn right there. Oh, and they can inflict dark which uh, lowers your accuracy, as you can see right there. Oh, uh, one thing I should mention, Luke almost never misses, okay? he w When he's using his fists, he has a very high accuracy rate. I don't, it doesn't show up anywhere on any stats, but trust me, it's there. Oh man, this, uh, he's only missed, I think, twice, and I've been level grinding for quite some time now. And I know there's gotta be more enemies here. Nope. Nope. Same old shadows. Okay. What I'm going to do now is because, well, really because I can, I'm going to come back out here, use a tent, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 